Welcome back to my Trigger Gamer 7 7 Apprentice. Back with another Hero Factory slash Bionicle mock. Yeah, that was fast. I tore him down, built a new guy. Yeah. Um, this guy in the legs, especially, or pretty much just in the legs, closely resembles Umak the Destroyer over here. Also, you can see the new, like, the oldish setup, I guess, which is just my closet door, but, like, whatever. So here he has his claws and big feet with heels, because he's pretty big. And over here he uses a similar leg design to Umrak the Destroyer with the, uh, what with the, like, using these slightly angled beams. And then this third piece coming out, and this piece connecting to the, whatchamacallit. <laughs> yeah, that's what it connects to. Connecting to the back foot socket. And then I put these pieces on his knees. And then over here on his hips, I have these red panels. And then over here, I use another the new piece I got, which I actually forgot to show off in the last video. I used this gunmetal gray rib cage piece, which I'm going to show off now before I forget. Um, I actually forgot I ordered this, and then it, I knew there was a package coming on Friday. I just didn't know which one. I thought it was a different order, but, you know, this piece is pretty nice. So, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, that's it. For that piece. Over here on his arms, I did give him three fingered hands. Yeah, three fingers, not five. I don't care. Um, he has these bull rock eyes as his thumbs, and then these two claw pieces as his hand, his other fingers. Um, over here, just some armor, some more armor with this add on over here. This piece just to fill things out. And then he has a giant torso, which is not, it's pretty hard to miss. So, yeah. And then. He has these two shadow traps, which make a head, which I think is pretty cool, which I did get this from somebody else, Play Stippling. Um, he had a mock. I actually don't need this piece anymore, actually. Okay, I got rid of that gearbox, because I didn't actually need it, because I got rid of it. I could actually put some back armor here, but, like, not right now. Um, so over here, legs connect. Um, back of the rib cage, this whole torso is area where his head connects. And then over here is where his the big chest connects. And the same with where the arms connect. And yeah. Um that's pretty much it for this guy. Um This is my Metro Gamer 7's apprentice 7's apprentice. Wait. There we go. Now he's set with his bone axe. Uh that's basically it. So, getting into how this is made, I just used a ton of these bone pieces, this axe head. Um, but, especially, um, if you're wondering how I connected it to the hands, I'll actually show you. Okay, so, this is just his hand. And so, one thing I like about this axe design, which I just made up on the spot, actually, um, his hands can wrap around it. Um, yeah, so it looks like he's holding it. But it actually doesn't, because of this whole section... Yeah, yeah. If you're wondering how this works, let's undo his hands. Move his thumb out of the way. Yeah, it's just like this. And then if we remove this, this is his axe in all of its glory? I don't know. But that's basically it. So, so... This is Metro Gamer 77's Apprentice. If you liked my content, but why do I always say this has been Metro Gamer 77's Apprentice and then I repeat it again? So, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you really enjoyed it, subscribe if you want, I guess. I don't really care. Well, I guess it would be. Oh, I do care, I guess. It would be nice if you subscribed. <laughs> and this is Metro Gamer 77's Apprentice, signing off.